not a flood. The Arduino application and water monitoring system is a device developed by STEM students from grade 12 CMOS. This device will use two water level sensors to measure specific water level. The water level measured by the water sensors will be transmitted to the receiver using 433 MHz RF transmission. The transmission can range from 1 to 5 meters. Then, the receiver will reproduce the beep sound and blink of red light in correspondence to the measured water level. Water Level Sensor Detect the different water level Arduino Uno reads data from the water level sensors and tells the radio frequency transmitter to send it to the receiver. Radio Frequency Data Sender All data will be sent via radio frequency. Battery A 9 volt battery as a power source. Radio frequency receiver receives data from the sender. Arduino Uno reads and processes the data received, then instructs the LED and buzzer to blink and beep in response to the water level. Buzzer module and LED lights, it blinks and beeps at different intervals to alert people depending on the water level. Power supply, USB port on a laptop or PC as a power supply. We put our receiver 5 meters away from the sender to see if our device can transmit data over a long distance. To simulate a flood, we placed our device in a location where we could fill it with water. The first sensor has already been submerged for half of its length. With a 2 to 5 seconds delay, the data will be transmitted. The buzzer will start beeping and the LED light will begin blinking at a 1 second interval once the data has been received. The buzzer will continue to beep and the LED light will blink in a 1 second interval until the water level reaches the second sensor. For the second sensor, we fill the container close to the second sensor to save time. The blinking and beeping intervals will change from 1 second to 0.5 second once the water level reaches the second sensor. Thank you.